so these are the printed parts I don't I didn't have any time lap time lapse made for for this part or this part it's pretty basic so you can see you have to push the the bearing inside you have another locking ring that you will have to glue and push the all, all way through to its place and uh, then this part goes the spindle you insert it here it goes like this you have this screw you can use it without this or with this I don't I don't know I have put this just to center it right it goes like this and there is this cap that goes on this side so you install it like this on the bracket and you pull this over the bracket and just screw this together until until it grips the bracket so you can see it has a nut inserted here okay this is about it so it spins freely and this thing screws on to this one and together it locks the spool I will have some spool here around here so so this is the spool it goes in like this and this one just screws on top of this okay it works a charm so I have tried this on multiple spools I have around 10 different spools and it works perfectly some have larger holes and some have smaller holes so this is a GTEC I wouldn't recommend this filament and you can also have this part this is additional part that uh, attaches different uh, covers on top of the spools so if you want to make a time lapse that has something spinning around perhaps uh, a car wheel or a spiral or something like that you just insert this here and you insert cover on top of it so it spins around when you film the time lapse and it looks really cool I haven't tried it yet because I have limited printing time I, I have been uh, search in searching for a sponsor sponsor for my printers and if you have the ability to sponsor it I'll, I will be very grateful so this is it and you you are free to print this this interesting part so it is up to you try it and you will probably end up loving it I have printed previously these types of, of rollers spool, spool holders and sometimes when the when the roll gets stuck it spins around and it pulls the roll of the of the holder so it ruins the print I had a few prints ruined before this is the one of them, the famous dick lamp, the famous spotlight, and so 
I'm not saying I, I I never say other people designs suck, but uh, this didn't work out for me. So I it has worked out for me for quite a while, but during these long time prints, it's just not worth it to slip over and ruin your print. Okay, that's about it. You have the link for free download in my description and uh, feel free to download. And this is the uh, the spool holder at work. So it spins freely and it doesn't skip and it cannot fall over when the extruder pulls it through. It has happened to me a few times, so that's the decision behind making and designing this spool holder. This is the first version, you can see it doesn't have the holes, and that's about it. It's a, it's a very simple design, you can install it very simply, it, it, it can be printed very simply, and uh, the, the most important thing, it has only one bearing, one skater bearing, so it's the cheapest possible spool holder to make. And it's it's very rigid, so it depends on the, of course, on the bracket, but the, the spool holder itself, it's very rigid. And you can see here, I have been printing another one of my free models, you can download, it's a coronavirus shaped vase that you can probably join together in some way or fashion. I haven't tried it, I have to print one or two of these for my kids and hopefully it fits together. Yes, the printer is covered up because I'm not uh, doing any promotional printing because I have bought this printer and I won't promote it. If you have a printer that you want to promote, you can contact me on my email or whatever, so, and I will put it, of course, 